it's time we had a conversation about where are we going to put all of these patterns. Dead souls! Dead souls! Dead souls! Hey guys and gals and internet pals, thanks for stopping in for another episode of Dad Sews. I truly appreciate you stopping by here. All right, it's time to talk about patterns and where do you store them and how do you store them. Now, I always give this recommendation with patterns, transfer them onto butcher or contractor paper, as you can see here, especially when one of your patterns says, cut one piece this way and then trim away a piece and cut another. Well, I've already got the trimmed piece. It's so much easier. In this way, I don't mess up my original patterns, but they're huge. And where are we gonna put them all? Now, I used to roll them up, but if you have ever done that, it is a bad idea. Repeat, flashing letters, bad idea. Because then they never lay flat on your fabric again. And unless you're using weights, and even if you are using pattern weights, it's a pain in the derriere, okay? So we're gonna talk about a quick and easy thing you can do for your patterns. Now, do you have a Dollar Tree in your area? If you do, you can get these display boards for kids' projects. You remember having to do a science project at school, and it opens up just like this, and this is what a lot of people use for their patterns. You slide it right in here, and then you close it, and... Too big my pattern is too big for this okay well what am I gonna do now if this isn't an option what are our answers now my friend Shelby Cole at Shelby Cole creations found an awesome used library catalog uh, filing cabinet where it's got the long flat drawers if you can find one of those or if you have space in your house for one of those that is a great option but we are going to make our own pattern holder right now. Hey everyone, we'll get right back to the video in a second, but I wanted to give away some fabric on our free fabric wheel from our sponsor, FabricCut.com. I'm joined by my son, Carlin, so go ahead and give the wheel a spin, Vanna. Oh yeah. All right, we're giving away a pattern. So a free pattern to one of you out there in Dad Sews land. All you have to do to win is subscribe to our YouTube page and like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash dadsews. I will find one of you double subscribers and I will be messaging you about your free pattern. Okay, back to the episode. Okay, so that science project board we got from Dollar Tree, it didn't work. But what I'm gonna use today did come from Dollar Tree and it only cost $3. Now this is foam core board and you can find it in Dollar Tree. Usually I only see it in white, but I got lucky and found it in black, which I really like because of where I'm going to store my patterns. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Now I'm gonna use three pieces. If you want to use four, you won't even have to make a cut. But if you use three like I'm about to do, you will have to cut one in half long ways. And I'm just gonna use a razor blade to do that. So we will be scoring it. Just score it along with your blade. Here we go. And wow, that cut all the way through. Sometimes you'll have to pop it and then cut it on the other side. But look at that. I went all the way through and did a very crooked cut. Use a ruler. All right, now you have different options for tape that you can use. Um, I originally got this clear tape, clear packing tape, but you know what I hate? Ah, besides the noise, I hate these tape containers, but I'm gonna truck ahead and I'm gonna use one piece of this packing tape and then one piece of a different kind of tape and see which one I like better. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take one of our halves, use the straight edge, the edge that you didn't cut, especially if you did it crooked like me. And then we're gonna slide this over here and we're gonna pull 
one big piece off of this tape and you're supposed to be able to rip it and it stays there perfectly but we all know when you go to pull it that second time it's going to be all bound up and we're going to go ahead and tape this like so now if you're saying christian why are you making your own instead of just i don't know throwing them in a corner somewhere because patterns will get messed up they will automatically curl just from the moisture in your house in the air and plus children can and will find your patterns and they will play with them color them and cut them and then you have to murder them all right now this time i'm going to use duct tape i'm a dude we like duct tape and plus the gray looks really good with the black foam board and you can just rip it with your teeth like a man. All right, now we're going to do that. This actually does show more than the clear plastic tape, but I like duct tape better, and I'm probably going to do the finishing piece with duct tape as well. All right, so we have two pieces taped together, one and a half, okay? Now we're going to lay them together like so and tape the inside, all right? It doesn't really matter which way the previously taped sides go, but I'm putting those pieces of tape on the outside. All right, and then we're gonna rip one more piece of tape here. Ah, I ran out of duct tape. All right, guys, packing tape one, duct tape zero. All right, there we go. This is probably all we'll need, but you, it's probably a good idea to run it all the way through. Now we have our pattern piece. <laughs> let's see what happens look at that it fits perfectly in my board now we can fold it over and we have pattern storage now why did I say I prefer this in black because I'm going to stand it up like this and I'm going to slide it right in beside my refrigerator a giant appliance in your house with wasted space beside it Maybe you could slide it behind your desk, behind or under your sewing table. But this is a quick, cheap, easy project to keep your pattern straight. Now, in between each pattern, if you would like, you can put a piece of poster board and then you can mark it with what that pattern is. Unfortunately, poster board is the same size as foam core board. So if you want to use poster board, you'd have to expand that with tape as well. But foam core board is solid and will hold on to your patterns and protect them and take a beating. So there you go, a very quick, easy, and better yet, cheap way to protect your patterns. What did you think about this quick tip? Had you already thought of it? Am I late to the game or will this help revolutionize the way you keep track of your patterns? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, if you're watching on YouTube, we'd love a thumbs up and a share. And if you like and share on Facebook, I would truly appreciate it. And remember, we love to give away free fabric, especially to those that share on the free wheel of fabric from our sponsor, Fabricut.com. Thanks for stopping by Dad Sews. We'll have a new video and tutorial out very soon. We'll see you then. This production is brought to you by the Plaid Dad Blog Podcast Network. For more information, visit us at plaiddadblog.com.